Hi guys, how you doing? No computer build for you today, <clears throat> but I do have something to uh, go over with you. Uh, first, let me uh, state before I get into this, I've been drinking uh, a bunch of these. I'm like on my third one now, so I'm a little bit hammered. So hopefully I don't, you know, stutter more than usual. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to talk about today is getting the Mac OS X running on a Ryzen chip. Um, I know a lot of people have tried this and they have problems with it. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, what I show you here will get you up and running and get you going. Um, I still have some work to do on mine. I got to get the sound working on mine. I have to change some drivers around. But <clears throat> I thought I'd uh, go over a couple things before uh, I get into my own problems. But uh, this should hopefully get you running here. I'm going to go into my settings here on uh, my VirtualBox. I'm using Oracle VM VirtualBox. Uh, you can see the name of it on mine is Mac OS 10. That's how I set mine. You can set yours to however you want. Uh, but I will show you some uh, other settings that I used. Um, like my memory, I give it half of what my total system memory is. I have 16 gigs, so I give it half there. Right here, USB tablet for my pointing device. All three of those are checked. Uh, under my processor, I give it uh, eight threads out of the 16 available on my uh, Ryzen. I'm using a 2700X here, so uh, I give it half for uh, virtualization, and then I uh, enabled PAE slash NX. And then uh, display, I crank that all the way up to 128 megabytes for display, and set it to the VBox SVGA, graphics controller, and enabled 3D acceleration. Audio is set to uh, ICHAC97. And uh, network is attached to a NAT. Uh, that's the general settings, and that should probably get you going on your Ryzen. Uh, but before you uh, start your install, after you've set this all up, before you start your install, you want to uh, change some settings here. And uh, we'll pop this up on the screen and we can take a look at this. Uh, I'll leave this in the description here, what all the commands were that I used. But this is just kind of, we'll go slow here so you can see all that shit. You're going to need to put in all these commands in a command prompt uh, before you even start your install. Now, the way you do that, some people get a little confused, like, how the fuck do I do that? All right, we'll start with this top command here, CD, blah, 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 virtual box. We'll right-click that, we'll click copy, and we'll go down here, and we'll open up the command prompt. We'll go more, run as administrator. Here's our command prompt. Right-click. And there it is right there. I just uh, pasted in what I copied on that notepad. Hit enter. And then that will take us to the uh, program files Oracle virtual box directory. Now from there, we're going to take all these commands that I have listed here. And we're going to put those in there. Now where it says your VM name right here. What you're going to use for your VM name is... Whatever you've named your system here, like mine's named Mac OS X. If you go under settings, here it says name, Mac OS X. And uh, to make this go quick here, I'll highlight that, right click it, copy it, and then I'll call that back up. And if I go edit, replace, you're going to find your VM name right there. And then replace with Mac OS X, replace all. And we'll click close. Now, as you can see on the screen, where like the top one, VBox Manage, Executable, Modify VM, Mac OS 10, blah, 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 blah. All these are changed to that. Now, after you've done that and named all that what your machine is, you're going to highlight each line. Right click, copy, go back to your command prob, right click, that'll paste it. 
and you'll hit enter right there like I just did and uh, that will put that command in there I'm not gonna hit enter now because I've actually already done this but you're gonna go through the list there of uh, all that stuff and put that in to uh, get your settings right the the key ones that you're gonna see here is like right here this one modify VM Mac OS 10 CPU profile Intel Core i7 6700k what this is doing is it's telling the Mac that you have a 6700k not an a uh, Ryzen chip or an AMG chip whatever and then the line right below it what that's doing is it's setting the resolution to 1920 by 1080 so you got 1080p graphics uh, because a lot of times you'll do this and your graphics will be all screwed up uh, let me go ahead and start this virtual machine here and we can take a look at this <coughs> excuse me and uh, right now it's it's uh, going into its boot to the uh, Mac OS It'll take a little bit, you know, of course, you know, it's a virtual machine. And I'm actually kind of tweak this a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how fast a Mac is supposed to boot. I don't know. I'm, I'm still messing around with it myself. But I did get it running, and uh, hopefully this video will uh, kind of set you straight about what you need to do to get it running on your Ryzen chip. Yeah, it's just about there. Yeah, give it a second. Slow ass thing. There we go. There's our Apple logo. There it is. Let me set that up. And there you have it. Mac OS 10.14 is uh, Mojave is what I'm running right here. And uh, like I said, I still got to mess with it a little bit, get my sound working. But uh, otherwise, everything else on it works just fine. Um, there's the files I'm testing right now is the Voodoo drivers. Uh, there's some other stuff I can do in case these don't work. Uh, but that's about it. Um, hopefully you get the gist of that. Um, I get into a little bit more detail, but like I said, I've been kind of slamming down a few... Uh, Baja Mamas and so I got like a little bit of a buzz going on right now so I'm not exactly uh, in a stable state of mind right now but just having a little fun wanted to make a little video and show you guys all this shit um, I will talk to you later and I will see you uh, probably when I do my next build I got another one coming up soon uh, this is just a kind of a little video to make in between builds something to do it's a hot ass weekend i'm staying in they actually called off work today because it was too damn hot and that we had too many damn parts and so uh i had nothing to do so i thought you know what i'm gonna hammer down some uh booze and i'm gonna make a few videos and uh hopefully you guys learned something today i will talk to you later guys and i will see you when i do the next build bye